Now this, this is one of the most interesting and baffling places in the entire universe. You say that every time. I know, but this time I really mean it. You say that every time too. Alright, I'm sorry, but it's not my fault the universe is so full of interesting and baffling places. Honestly, I've been travelling for thousands of years and I'm still amazed. Where are we anyway? Some sort of jungle? Prehistoric Earth. If you head in that direction for a bit, you might see some dinosaurs. Wait, really? Yeah. We're not here for the dinosaurs though. I mean, you can see them if you want, but there's something far more interesting over here. What could possibly be more interesting than dinosaurs? A library. A library? Well, libraries are cool, I guess, but dinosaurs are... Wait, a library? On prehistoric Earth? How is that for baffling? though. Like seriously, a massive library just slap bang in the middle of a jungle. Did dinosaurs read? Are you seriously trying to tell me that dinosaurs read and built a library for their dinosaur box? Of course not. They did read, but they didn't build a library. So it was aliens. Bang on the money. A strange race of ancient beings built a big old library and slapped it down on prehistoric earth. And then when humans came along, the aliens, what, moved it? It seems so. The library's been all across the universe, always on planets without intelligent life. Then, when the intelligent life eventually shows up, it disappears and reappears on a different planet. But why? Why write a load of books just to hide them from everyone? No idea. It's called the Forbidden Library. No one's ever went inside. Not even you? Not even me. If they're so determined to hide it, then there must be a good reason for it. And your curiosity never got the better of you? It did not. Until today. Hmm. Oh. Security seems to be minimal. I guess they never really expected anyone to try and get in. Fair enough. I don't suppose a dinosaur is going to try and pick the locks. Well, there's a force field. A dinosaur wouldn't get within a mile of this place without getting a bit of a shock. That's a actual electric shock, not a mid-season plot twist shock. So how come we didn't get a shock? We landed inside the force field. Ah, smart. Aha! <sighs> Ooh. This is exciting. Are you excited? More scared than excited. Scared? Oh yeah, it's called the Forbidden Library. There must be a reason for that. Look, you don't have to come if you don't want to. Of course I want to. I just think we should be on our guard. I'm always on my guard. Except for when I'm not, which is most of the time. <sighs> come on. is. No librarian though. In fact, there's no anything. No chairs, no out of date computers, no teenagers pretending to study. Just lots and lots of books. They're not even proper books. The covers are all blank. Is there anything written inside? I don't think so. Whoa! Um... I am free. I am free! Doctor? No idea. You have freed me. It would appear we have. 
Sorry, who are you? I am Zavis, Butcher of the Seven Systems. Uh-huh. And, uh, who's that then? The most dangerous man in the universe! Oh. Oh. Everything alright? No. I think this was a mistake. No mistake has been made. You have done a good deed, and for that, I will spare you. Oh. Cool. Thanks. Now it is time for me to exact my revenge on the universe. It has been many years, but finally I shall take my rightful place as ruler of everything. Security. How did you break out of your containment cell? Me? Oh no no, it's, it's nothing like that. We didn't break out, we broke in. Which is still bad, but at least we're not intergalactic warlords, like him. Like who? Wait! You're Zavis? Butcher of the Seven Systems? The very same. But you're one of the inmates. How did you escape? You can thank my accomplices for that. Eh, well, no. Not accomplices. We didn't know he was in there. We didn't know any of this was here. You didn't know this place was a prison? Oh. That actually makes a lot of sense. Oh, I'm an idiot sometimes. This is a serious security breach. I'll have to call for backup. I don't think so. Ow! I'm afraid I'll have to take that little communicator off you. And perhaps the gun while I'm at it. Give me that back! Leave him. It's too dangerous. My, my. You are pathetic. Look, officer, whoever you are, I've got an idea. But first, we need to get away from this maniac. Oh yes, run away! Whatever your plan is, it won't work. You're probably right, but it's worth a shot, eh? Come on, everyone. <laughs> you fools. You think you can escape me? <laughs> it is a shame you will not live to see the full extent of my power. Away yet. I think so. You two have got some serious explaining to do. Honestly, we had no idea what this place was. We were here expecting an actual library with actual books. It's called the Forbidden Library. Did it never occur to you that maybe you should stay away from it? Okay, so that was a mistake on my part. But we're here now and we've got bigger fish to fry. What's your name, by the way? Rasheen. You? I'm Doctor Who. That's Robin. Are you one of the people who built this place? Seriously? This place was built millennia ago. By whom? Oh. It was all these all-powerful beings called the Zala. According to legend, they were one of the first species to ever exist. They saw the universe when it was young and innocent, and they watched it grow and flourish. But they quickly noticed a problem. Back in those days, the universe was weak and vulnerable, and a lot of people took advantage of that, plundering innocent worlds for their own gain. People like Zavis. The Zala wanted to stop that. They wanted to let the good in the universe live and prosper, so they built this prison to keep the evil away. What happened to them? The Zala? They weren't around for very long, but before they died out, they recruited my people to watch over this place and make sure it was never disturbed. And it never was. There's only a handful of people on the security team because we never needed any more than that. Until you two came along. Sorry. Sorry isn't good enough. The people in those books are pure evil. We cannot risk them escaping. We need to sort this mess out. Didn't you say you had an idea? Very few prisons are filled to maximum capacity, right? Most have spare cells. Well, Zavis will never let us get our hands on the book he came from, but if we can find an unoccupied book... We could trap him in it. That might just work. I think the spares are kept somewhere down here. We couldn't have just gone to Blackpool. I think this is where the stores are spared. I'm not sure how to activate them though. It seems like you open them and they do the rest. Grab a couple, just in case something goes wrong. Oh, 
Something will go wrong, I assure you. Drop the gun, Zavis, or I'll open the book. You're going to open the book anyway. What difference would it make? Well, I could shoot you. That would make a difference. <laughs> get behind those shelves. Wow! You can't hide. It's a well-lit room. I think I will enjoy killing you. It's been ever such a long time since I killed. That's the thing about those books. Life is surprisingly pleasant in there. Peaceful. Sounds nice to me. It's not. Because there's nobody to kill. Charming. Why isn't this doing anything? That shelf should be atoms by now. Maybe it's a laser-proof shelf? It's because that's a stern weapon. What? It's not designed to kill. It's used to control rowdy inmates. But it doesn't have any effect on my species. So, you were right after all. It does make no difference. And I am gonna open the book anyway. No! No! Don't you dare! Goodbye, Zavis. No! You're welcome. Nice job. Are you sure you're okay? I mean, you were shot. It stings a bit, but I'll be fine. Now, I think it's time you two got out of here. I wholeheartedly agree. Do you need a lift home? I can drop you off somewhere if you like. No thanks. Now that you've fixed my communicator, I'll be able to call for help. If you're sure. Well, here we are. That's your ship? Are you some sort of police? Eh, <laughs> no, not quite. So, what's going to happen to all the prisoners? Will they ever be released? I'm not sure. We were lucky it was only Zavis that got out. I'm sure they'll be let out someday, when the universe is ready. Just not today. Sorry again for, well, everything. That's all right. Now get out of here before I change my mind. Yes, uh, of course. <laughs> Bye. Thanks for saving us today. That was pretty cool. Cool? Well, nobody's ever said that to me before. Well, they have now. Cool. Very cool. 